Talk with Mary. It is day 13 of your Summer Strong Challenge, and today's class is going to be a mega burnout for the thighs. So this is going to be working quads and some hammies big time today. We're also going to get the heart rate up. We're going to get a little bit of cardio to let you how much cardio you get, because it's about how fast you go, right? And that's going to fly by, I promise. It's going to be a thigh party. <laughs> So we're going to start in a turned out squat. So not the most traditional position, so stick with me here. You're going to take your feet underneath your shoulders, and then I want you to turn them out just slightly. So not like this crazy wide turn out position, like a 10 and a 2 o'clock with the legs. Hips go back just like a normal squat, and then we sink low. From there, rise up, squat down, go lift, and squat. Yes. So in many ways, it's like a traditional squat, in that your hips go back and your torso is gonna hinge forward so that the shoulders stack over the front knees versus the back knees. <laughs> you know, over the knees, the only knees that you have. That's where the torso shoulders stack. <laughs> As you come down though, I want you to feel your inner thighs press away from each other and you feel this slight external rotation in the thigh bones. Go four more, three more, it's two, now you're going to hold this one low, lift right heel, lift left heel. Now as you lift the heels, I want you to press the inner thighs out. But I want you to feel the ankle bones squeezing towards one another. So that we're not rolling to the knife edge of the feet here. You're not rolling out to the pinky toes. You're keeping the big toe mound really grounding down into the mat. I'm just getting a little bit more heat into the calves and into the ankles. You're here for a four. Three, two, now keep both heels down, just press the thighs, little press, little out, little out, little out, yes. So inner thighs are pressing open here. You get a little bit more heat building into the outer thighs. The hips continue to press back. Now in this variation, take a moment and wrap the hands at the low ribs. Really knit the low ribs together. Feel the low back is really long, and the sits bones are squeezing in, go eight. Six, go for three, two, keep that pulse out, drop the hips, a little drop, a little drop. So you'll notice we transitioned right into thigh work, right? <laughs> so I did give you that little warm up, that full range of motion, but we are gonna flow right into class today because we've got lots to do. And I wanna make sure you get a really good stretch at the end. You have eight more pulses here, go eight, six, here for four, Three, two, stay low, inhale. Now as you exhale, your left foot's gonna stay where it is. I want you to take your right foot and step it back behind your left ankle. Now lift the torso up so the shoulders stack over the hips here. I'm gonna adjust myself just a little bit. There we go. So your back right toes should line up with your front left heel. Draw this left hip bone back so you're nice and square. Pulse the hips down for two. Come up just halfway. It's inhale, lower. And exhale, lift. If this bothers your knees at all, you can hinge your torso forward just like you were in that turned out squat. I'm going to cue shoulders over the hips today because I really want to focus on working the quadriceps. When you hinge forward, you still get a ton of quadricep work, but it also starts to get into that front glute as well. Not a bad thing, just a different thing, right? Two more down. And lift. The last one goes down. And lift, I want you to take this one down, hold it there, press the thighs away, go a little press, a little press, a little press. Now as you tire, your hips are gonna wanna open towards the right. Take this back right hip and really actively spin it forward. Drive down through the front left heel and through the back right toes and the ball of the back right foot. Go eight, six, go four, three. Hold that press out, let the hands come to prayer, inhale. As you exhale, you're going to rise, you're going to pull that back foot in to tap the front calf, and then you're going to lower right back down into this curtsy squat position. Yes, it's up and squat. Go, lift and squat. You've got it up and down. So lots of heat starting to build, at least for me, <laughs> into this front left leg. Continue to drive down the left heel, and this is one of those opportunities where you can get your heart rate up if you want. You are more than welcome to speed it up. If you want even more, you could lift up onto the ball of this front left foot. If you were like 
girl, I want to move today. You could totally jump this if you wanted to. Now, I don't want to, <laughs> but you should if you want to. Go for it. Three, two, now I want you to hold this low and pulse the hips a little down, a little up, a little down, a little up. Yes, lots of heat building, but this is it on this side. So maybe you sink a little lower and know that we get this big movement before we transition to the other side. So you're gonna flush everything out. You have 16 more, go 16, 15, lower every time, go 12. You're here for eights, for six, here for four, three, up and over, take it to the right, it's a right leg over, and left leg back, switch, left leg, and right leg back, pick it up, go, switch, and switch, yeah, you've got it, switch, another opportunity to bring the heart rate up if you'd like, okay, so if you want to make this more of a jump, go for it, jump, and jump, if you want to pick up the pace, you should, if you wanted to stay a little lower impact today, then just step side to side. That's an amazing option here. So we're still low in the legs. It's a little variation on a skater. Working the outer thighs, absolutely the outer glutes. And I am feeling really fatigued in my left leg. <laughs> yes, you're here for four, three, two. Now I should take it over to the right side and hold it there. Right foot forward, left foot back, back left hip, spins forward, and take it down for two. Lift up just halfway, it's down and down. And up now again, if this bothers either of your knees, you can hinge forward, taking a lot of the pressure out of the knee joints. If it feels okay for you though, I'm gonna encourage you to keep the shoulders stacked over the hips today. Now take this back left hip, really actively spin it forward. And catch your breath. Two more down. And lift. The last one down. And lift. Now take this one down and hold it. Press the thighs away. Little press, little press. So you're going to feel much more fatigued as I am in my back leg than I was on the first side because we obviously just worked it. <laughs> so really feel that front right heel grounding down and this back left hip spinning forward. Again, check in that you're long through both sides of the waist and that the pubic bone is scooping up towards the belly button. It's eight, six, here for four, three, two, hold that press, inhale, hands to prayer. As you exhale, the back left foot draws forward, taps the right calf, and then you step it back and sink low into that curtsy squat, it's up and down, go lift and squat, yes, up and down. Again, this variation is a great way to get your heart rate up and to fatigue that front right leg. If you want even more today, you can lift up to the ball of the right foot or you know you can take this to a jump. Again, not where I'm looking to go today, but if you are, I strongly encourage you to do it. And if you're not, Stay with me. Go for three, two, hold this one low, little pulse of the hips, little down, little down, little down, yes, drive down to the front right heel. Soften the shoulders, soften the face. Things will change soon. You're going to be out of this turned out position. I can't promise you it's going to get better. I actually think it's going to get a little worse. <laughs> But you will be out of this turned out position. You have eight more here, go eight, six, here for four, three, two, stay low, inhale. As you exhale, you're gonna quarter turn to your left. Find a low parallel squat, so traditional squat here. Flush it out, go up and down, go lift and squat, yes. Now, again, opportunity, if you wanna take it for some speed, Opportunity for some jumping, if you can. Well, if you want to take it. There is never pressure from me. Not that you should care if I'm pressuring you. <laughs> that would just be really unpleasant. So you take this at your pace. I have some foot issues, so jumping doesn't feel good for me. So I very rarely do it. You have four more. Go, four, three, two. You're gonna stay low in your squat. Beautiful inhale here. 
As you exhale, I want you to sink even lower so your hands can come to the mat. Walk yourself all the way out and do a high plank position. Squeeze the quadriceps when you get there. Bend the knees, walk the hands back, keep the seat really low, and then lift the heart up, going back in that squat. Let's go, walk it forward. Squeeze the quads. Walk it back, stay low, low, low. Lift the heart. Now if you want to go faster here, by all means be my guest. This is where you can really start to get that sweat. Really start to get the heart rate up. Or you can stay slow and steady and continue to just focus on fatiguing the quadriceps. Wherever you are, you're going to be here about 20 more seconds. So if you want to take it faster, now's your chance. Last time here, I'm going to walk it out. I'm going to walk it right back. Stay really low in the seat. Lift the heart. Pulse the hips a little down, a little down, a little down. Yes, shin squeeze in. Inner thighs press out. Beautiful. Little pulse, little pulse. Yes. Soften the shoulders. Find length through the back of the neck. And continue to pull the hip bones back. 16, 15. Ooh, the wind is going crazy. You're here for eight, for six, here for four, three, two, stay low, inhale. As you exhale, I want you to sink even lower and walk yourself out to all fours, finding a bare plank position. For just a moment, tap the knees, sit back on the heels, and take a moment to breathe. We got this final sprint to go here. One more big breath in. As you exhale, come back to all fours. Toes are tucked under. Inhale. Exhale, lift the knees to a hover, just barely off the mat. So yes, this is a core exercise. But right now, our focus is going to be on the quads working. So nothing moves except for the right leg, which floats up to a donkey kick. Taps back down, switch. Left leg floated up. And tap it down just like that. It's right leg up. And right leg down. Yes, it's the left leg up. And left leg down, keep going. And if you would like to increase your speed, this is a great chance to do that. Let's do it, go right and left. It's right and left. Now you're gonna meet me with your right leg lifted. And you're gonna hold it there in four, three, two. Now I want you to lift your right leg and hold it there. Pulse your hips a little down, little up. Little down, little up, left thigh. Should be talking to you big time. You're here for four, three, two. Stay low, right toes back to the mat. Left leg lifts. Hold the left leg up. Pulse, the right knee down one inch, go down an inch, up an inch. Little down, little up, yes. Back of the neck is long. You're here for four, three, two. Stay low, left toes come back to the mat. Find the inner thighs, squeeze them in and in and in. Inner thighs hugging towards one another. Spine is in neutral. Front low ribs are wrapping together. Here for eight, six. Here for four, three, two. Tap the knees, untuck the toes. Lift the heart up. Now, if you have knee sensitivity, I want you to roll your mat up so you have a little bit more cushion here. Knees underneath the hips. Send the fingertips forward. Inhale. As you exhale, squeeze the inner thighs together. And then lower your seat down to your heels. Notice that I'm in neutral here. So shoulders are stacked over the hips, okay? You're going to stay in that neutral alignment. Take an inhale. Exhale, lift the seat to hover just off the heels. And then tap it down just like that. Go lift and tap. Lift, lift and tap. Up and down. Now you really don't have to have your hands forward. Hands can be on your hips. They can be in your hair, wherever you want them to be. They can be flipping me the bird. <laughs> Please tell me below if you're flipping me the bird right now. I would love to hear that. <laughs> that would make me really oddly happy. <laughs> you have four more just like this. Go four, three, two. Hold the hover. Yes, I know. Inhale. As you exhale, Round the low spine, 
Come back to neutral. Yes, yeah, so to tip of the hips. Release to neutral. So pubic bone rounds to belly button and releases back. Pick it up. Go tip, 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 tip. Yes, inner thigh squeeze in. Your seat is off of your heels. Go eight, seven, six. You're here for four, three, two. Hold that neutral. Inhale. Exhale, press all the way up. Inhale. Exhale, it's down to that hover. Just like that. Take it all the way up. Take it down to a hover. It's lift and hover. Beautiful, yes, it's lift and hover. Now, as you come to that hover, I want you to be sure that you're not leaning your shoulders forward. Shoulders are staying back over the hips. You're breaking at the hips here. Yeah, so it's just like a hinge. If you're in a squat position, we're just changing the alignment so that the torso stays upright and it's the thigh bones that have that hinging motion. Yeah, two more, go lift and hinge. Last time it's lift, you know what's coming. Hold that hinge, shoulders slide back. So they're stacked over the hips. Beautiful, just like this, it's one inch up. Go a little up, little up, little up, little up. Here for 16, 15. You have a hold in 12. Yes, inner thighs are squeezing in. You're here for eight, seven. Your hold is right on deck. You're there in four, three. Here's your hold. Squeeze the inner thighs, inhale. As you exhale, lean the shoulders back just one more inch and come up a quarter of an inch higher. Hold four. You're done in three. You're done in two. Oh, all fours. Whoo. Just wiggle the hips from side to side. Oh my word, that was really, really challenging. <laughs> Just releasing through the front of the hips. Whew. Big breath in and a big breath out. Extend the right leg long behind you, tucking to the right toes and really push energy back to the right heel here. So you're really opening up to the right calf if it feels good to rock your feet, weight forward and back, you are more than welcome to do that. Big breath in and a big breath out. Now center your weight, lift the right leg up, bend the right leg in half, and then just sweep the left arm back behind you so you can catch your foot. Now, if this is not available to you, you are more than welcome to take a different variation on this quadricep stretch. Squeeze the inner thighs together, and then kick your right foot up into your hand, really opening up through the front of the right hip and the right quadricep. Big breath in, and a big breath out. One more time, inhale. Exhale. Gently release, hand and knee back down to the mat. And we'll switch sides, extending the left leg long, pushing back through the left heel, getting that nice calf stretch. And again, if you want to rock your weight forward and back, releasing the weight from the heel and then pressing back into it, you're welcome to do that. Big breath in. And a big breath out. Find your weight centered. Pull the left leg up. And the left leg in half, and it's the right arm that sweeps back to catch the foot. Inner thighs squeeze in, and you kick up into the hand here. Again, if a different quadricep stretch feels better, then you should take that. The amazing thing about the at-home workout, you get to choose, right? There is no pressure from anybody or anywhere else. Really check in and think about what's gonna feel best for me right now. Squeeze the inner thighs, inhale. Exhale, kick the foot up even deeper. One more big breath in, and a big breath out. Gently release hand and knee back down to the mat. Big toes come together. Knees open as if you're coming to a child's pose. And I want you to sit up here, inhale. As you exhale, right hand's gonna come back. I want you to sweep the left arm up and back, lifting the hips up, pushing down to the top of the left foot, 
and opening up to the left quadricep. Big inhale, big exhale. Release the seat down, and sweep around to the other side. Left hand back, right arm sweeps high, and you lift the hips, pushing down to the top of the right foot, and lifting up to that right hip, opening up to the right quadricep here. Big breath in, and a big breath out. Release the seat down. Since we're already in this position, go ahead and walk your hands forward, coming into a child's pose. Hmm. Letting your forehead melt down into the earth. If it feels good to so wiggle the hips side to side, to shake up the shoulders or roll the wrists, I encourage you to do any of those things. Let's take a big breath in here and let it go. One more time, inhale, exhale. On your next inhale, walk yourself up to any seated position, whatever is your very favorite today. Inhale, sit the arms up high. Exhale, let it go. And that is your class for today. I am a sweaty mess. I really hope I'm not the only one. Let me know, are you as sweaty as I am? <laughs> I hope so. Um, I'll be back tomorrow with day 14, your final day of this challenge. It's gonna be a fabulous core glutes and arms class, and you're gonna walk away feeling so strong, so accomplished. I hope if you haven't already, you'll subscribe to the channel. I have new classes here every Monday, and I would love to have you. Have an awesome rest of your day.